Welcome, welcome, welcome to Story Time with me, Michilla. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today's story is in English, but also, if you ha had your book yourself, you see this language is in Yakutak. Isn't that cool? So it was written from somebody up north, Canada's up north, that are Inuit. So it's called Mika Loves Nature, and it's all about insects. My name is Mika, and I love spending time outdoor. I find plants and animals really interesting, and you don't have to go far to see amazing things in nature. Today I'm looking for insects. Insects are small animals with six legs, and they usually have wings. Let's go find some and follow me. So you see like the Inakitak language, the English, and then the Inakitak. Isn't that cool? You don't have to go outside to find houseflies. They like to buzz around inside your house. Houseflies have big red eyes and they can see in all directions at once. And that makes them hard to catch. See, she's pointing them out. The Arctic blue butterfly. Arctic blue butterflies have big, beautiful wings. I love how their little bodies can flap such big wings. Arctic blue butterflies fly from flower to flower, looking for nectar to eat. Ooh, they are beautiful. Black flies. Black flies are small and they can fly really fast. Black flies have little wings that can, that you can see through and it hurts when a black fly bites. Ouch, yeah. Not pleasant when you get bit by one of them. Ladybugs are colorful little beetles. It always amazes me when I see their round bodies flying. You can find ladybugs all over the world. And aren't they beautiful? Look at those ladybugs. You don't have to go looking for mosquitoes. They are usually looking for you. <laughs> Mosquitoes are always looking for blood to drink and their bites are very itchy. They're itchy and look and make your skin really red and sometimes maybe a little bit pop out. But if you can just put some, um, some calamine on it and it should take it away. I love watching bees collect pollen from flowers. Their fuzzy yellow and black bodies are very easy to see. Polis bees flap their wings really, really fast. Yeah. Look at them. And we want bees because bees make honey. Look under a rock if you want to find weevils. They are small dark beetles with large snouts. When weevils are scared, they stay completely still, hoping they won't be noticed. You see, some of them are already under the rock there, too. A woolly bear caterpillars are really fuzzy. Woolly bear caterpillars have lots of little legs, but it's hard to see their legs through all that fuzz. Woolly bear caterpillars eat plants, and they like to eat a lot. Woolly bear caterpillars turn into woolly bear moths. It's amazing the way a caterpillar becomes a moth. The woolly bear moth is usually an orange-brown color with some black spots, and it's beautiful. See them right there? And some caterpillars turn into butterflies. We found a lot of insects today. Which one is your favorite? What's your favorite insect? Oh, I wonder what we'll see tomorrow. Wow. I hope you enjoyed this story today. Until next time with me, Michilla, keep going looking in nature and seeing what you can find. Okay? And keep shining your bright light. Bye for now.